While camping in Cape Breton Highlands, check out the many hiking trails, some from easy all the way to extreme. There are also some great trails for mountain biking. And if you love waterfalls like we do, there are some just to dip in and some to jump in. Is he alive? <laughs> Your face for it. Walk from your campsite to a beautiful beach right in the campground or take a drive and visit one of the other beaches. Don't forget that scenic drive along Cabot Trail Road. Stop off at those overlooks because they have some of the most beautiful sights in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Broad Cove Campground is located in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park in Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, Canada. Now this is the province of Nova Scotia right here and at the northeastern tip is Cape Breton Island. Now to get to Cape Breton Island you take the 104 here through Nova Scotia which eventually connects up here with the 105 and that will eventually connect up here with the Cabot Trail. Now the Cabot Trail goes along the coast right here and there's a section right here where we're on our way to the campground which is very very steep. There is a 12 to 15 percent grade here and we were carrying our 35 foot fifth wheel it was a little bit challenging um, but we did it just be aware that if you're bringing a big rig to broad cove campground there are some steep grades here on the cabot trail now the cape breton highlands national park is a vast canadian national park with lots of outdoor activities you can drive along the cabot trail along the coast you can go biking there's hiking and of course camping opportunities now there are three campgrounds within the National Park. There's Inganish Beach, Broad Cove, and Cheddar Camp. Now in this video, we're just gonna focus on Broad Cove and what it looks like to camp at Broad Cove and some of the amenities that they have there. Broad Cove Campground is split into four areas. Sites one through 34 are full hookup RV sites with water power and sewer. As a section two here, sites 35 through 83. These sections also have amenities like washing and bathhouses and showers. Third section here, sites 84 through 141 are unserviced, no water, power, or sewer. There is water available within this area and is really for tents and very small RVs. The other section here at the end, 142 through 201, is also for small RVs and is unserviced. Down here at the end is a dump station for dumping before you leave the campground. There's a trail that goes along the Warren Brook right here behind the campground, which is a really nice walk to take all the way down and brings you all the way to the beach. Full of, but it got 
got me on my knees Now's the time to reap what I've sown Your words echoing in every single bone Underwater, so far out at sea There's no cure for what you're telling me And soon I'm on my way Say hey. 